Hey guys, before we get started today, I wanted to let you know about a fun giveaway I'm doing. I've teamed up with Bobby Parrish from over at Flav City to give away some awesome cookware. Be sure to check out the video description below where you can get a link to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to both me and Flav City right here on YouTube. Good luck. Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make creamy cauliflower soup. This soup is full of vegetables, it's good for you, and it tastes good too. To start, you'll need to chop up some vegetables. You'll need some small diced carrots, some diced celery, some cauliflower florets that are cut nice and small, and a white diced onion. Once you have all of those cut up, we're gonna head on over to the stove and get a large pot heating over medium high heat. Get two tablespoons of butter melting and add in a tablespoon of olive oil as well and let that heat up. Once the butter is mostly melted, we can start adding in all of our vegetables. Let these cook and saute in the pot for about 10 to 12 minutes until the cauliflower is tender. The cauliflower is the vegetable that will take the longest amount of time to cook out of all of these, so you'll want to make sure you cook it until that cauliflower just starts to get tender. Once those vegetables are soft, we'll add in four cloves of crushed garlic and give that a stir as the heat will allow the garlic to release some of its flavor. After about 60 seconds, we can add in a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of dried thyme. You'll also need two tablespoons of cornstarch, which will act as a thickening agent. You wanna stir this all in. Once all of the cornstarch has dissolved, we're gonna stir in two cups of vegetable broth, and you can use chicken broth if you want, as well as two cups of milk to make this nice and creamy. And then you'll wanna season with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. We'll bring this to a simmer. The amount of salt that you add to your soup will depend on how much sodium was in the vegetable broth, so I hate to give you an exact amount. I'm using a low sodium vegetable broth, so I added in one teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, but you should add yours to taste. Let the soup simmer for three to five minutes until the broth has thickened. And that's it for this easy cauliflower soup. You are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.